Okay, so I've got a big pile of parts for the motor and the motor bracket. Motor installing those now. Okay, first I got the bottom part of the bracket. Go ahead and mount that on. The top part of the bracket just slips on this dovetail. I'll go ahead and oil this up with a bit of oil here. And the top part should just slide on here. So I disassembled the motor to clean it and paint it basically and inspect it. That all looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble that now. Okay, so there's one side of it done. Okay, it looks pretty good. Spinning nice and free. Go ahead and put the pulley on now. Got the key on here. Put some oil on here to make sure that it'll come off freely in the future. Okay, got the pulley on there. Go 
gonna put some oil on the bracket that goes on here. And then I'll just lift the motor on. And finally, I'll bolt this thing down. Now it looks like the top pulley needs to go in about half an inch, so I'm gonna tap that in a little bit now. And I just got back from the auto parts store, got one of the belts. Unfortunately, they didn't have two in stock, so I'm waiting on another one, but I'll go install this one. Then I'll just put on these screws that lock the motor in place. Now before I actually put this thing under power, I will put the other belt on, but this is just temporary, just having the one. And then I'll just put on the belt guard. Yeah, so that's about it for all this, the big stuff. There's a couple of little things left. I need to do a couple of uh, knobs and a few other small things, but the milling machine is essentially done. Uh, up next, I need to do some wiring in the main control box, run the wires back to where they need to be, and then uh, put a plug on it. And that'll be a good bit of work itself. Uh, I might be changing the schematic a little bit, there were, in the original version, there was a couple of things that were a bit uh, unnecessary, a couple of unnecessary transformers and stuff. Um, so I'll be simplifying how some of the electronics, some of the electronics and uh, wiring it up, and then uh, it'll be a sonic phase converter after that. So getting pretty close to the end here. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.